I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get the best out of your crop tool in Lightroom. Now if you're in the library module and you're looking at all of your images, you can actually directly open up the develop module and go straight to the crop tool if you want to by typing the letter R. You can also, when you are in the, in the develop module, just type the letter R while you're here at any point in time during your workflow, or you can click on the crop tool, which is located right here in the toolbar on the right hand side. Now a situation like this, uh, yeah, I'm standing in the water, I'm getting beaten down by waves, and uh, clearly I'm not uh, using a tripod and I'm hand holding a little waterproof uh, point and shoot camera. So my horizon is decidedly crooked. So one of the first things that I do whenever I decide to crop an image, whether it's to remove an element along the edge that I find distracting, whether it's to straighten the horizon line, or just aesthetically, I want to crop the image to make it look better. The first thing I do is straighten the photo. Straightening the photo, especially in Lightroom, you will lose some real estate. And I'll show you what I mean. If you come over here to the crop toolbox, we've got a bunch of options here. If I click on auto, auto is gonna let Lightroom itself try and find a straight line somewhere and line it up appropriately. Now this works pretty well most of the time. Now when I drag this edge down, I can see that the right hand corner right here is lined up perfectly, but over here the horizon is just a little bit lower. So the auto setting did not do what I would consider to be a good enough job. So I'm going to try a few different things. If I click right here on the straighten tool, see how my cursor becomes a little level. So I'm going to click right here on the horizon and then I'm going to drag my line. If I drag it and accidentally drop it somewhere like this, it, it doesn't matter. Just reset the toolbox and try again. There we go. Now when I bring my line down, I can see that it's lined up perfectly. So I could stop there or I can actually just take this slider. And when I click on it, I get a grid. And so I can just line the image up. If I drag this left and right, I can line it up with the nearest available straight line. That's kind of eyeballing it a little bit. So my favorite thing to usually do is to just grab the straighten tool and click and drag across and do that. And then I click done. Now let's open up the crop tool again, reset, because I want to show you some different ways to do this. If you are outside of the photo itself, you notice that your cursor becomes a little curved arrow. You can click out here and drag it up and down. If you're at the bottom of the image, you can drag it left and right and rotate your image that way as well. What I do want you to, to, to notice and be aware of in the future is that when I do crop like this, I'm going to lose this area right up here in the top corner. I'm gonna lose this area right here. I'm gonna lose this right here and this on the left side, that will be gone if I were to just commit to this crop. Now, not literally gone. You can always go back in Lightroom. Lightroom is totally non-destructive. Non but if I were to crop it like this, those, clearly wrong, but <laughs> those areas would disappear. But if I click on the crop tool again, you can see that the pixels are all still there. You can always go back and just click on reset and start over. Uh, it is for that reason that if I have a, a really crooked horizon like I do in this situation and I wanted to maintain these areas right in here and in here, I would probably crop this in Photoshop instead of cropping it in Lightroom if I really needed to so that I could use the content aware fill or just do some simple cutting and pasting uh, cloning to fill in these areas so that I don't technically lose them. A couple of other things that I wanted to show you. You can click on this to get the crop frame tool. And right now it is allowing me to crop at whatever dimensions I want. And the reason for that is because I have this unlocked. If I were to lock that, and click on the aspect. When I go up and down, it keeps that aspect ratio, that two to three aspect ratio. Now it'll, it'll flip it vertical if I go too far one direction, but it's going to keep the same exact ratio of the original photo. Reset. Okay. 
Say I specifically want a particular size. If you click on the word original here, you have a number of options available to you if you want to make a square image. There we go. Eight and a half by 11, common, you know, just legal size paper. Five by seven. You can see that these change the image quite a bit. Now that's just the ratio. It's, you, can, you can extend this out and maintain my two by three ratio, should I wish, or four by six, same thing. If I needed a 16 by nine, more of a pano look. And you can also enter a custom number. Say I wanted an aspect ratio of two to one. So I wanted something maybe for a, a banner image on my website, and I know my banner images have to be much longer than they are height-wise. I could choose something like that. Let's go back to the original. So say you want to make this uh, a banner image on Facebook, and you really want it sized appropriately to fit in that space. Uh, Facebook has, currently anyway, a banner image of 820 Oops, that's 1,820. 820 by 312. So this is your size for a, a banner image. Now, you can do one of two things. You can actually crop it to this actual size, and, and this is the portion that will be seen in your image. So I could do that, and that's what I would upload to Facebook. Or you can, when you export this image, you can size it to... 820 pixels on the long side, width-wise, and then when you upload it to Facebook, you simply drag the photo up and down until it, it fits. But if you want to do it absolutely perfectly right out of the gate, you can do that here in Lightroom. Just keep in mind, in order to make adjustments, if I wanted to crop those two swimmers out of my image right here, uh, that this right here has to be unlocked. You can see that when it's not, when it's locked, it's going to resize the entire image if I grab this single edge, even though I only want the right edge to come in in order to get rid of uh, the, the couple of swimmers right there. I would crop it like that, but that has to be unlocked. I hope this helps. I hope it gives you some ideas on how to best crop your photos in Lightroom and when the decision needs to be made to go to the trouble of bringing it over to Photoshop. If there's really something critical that you're going to lose along the edge by straightening the image, then I would definitely do it in Photoshop, but that is uh, your own choice. Have fun with the crop tool along with everything else in Lightroom. Have a great day! Mm -hmm.